What physical boundaries should I set with my boyfriend? We've been together for over a year and haven't gotten engaged yet, but I expect to soon. Mm. Kind of a uh, broad question. <laughs> yeah, this this is a one that I think is, especially in college campuses, are debated till the cows come home. Mm, right. True. And there really isn't exact the Bible doesn't say, and this is the boundary for a dating relationship. Don't you wish that it did? Like yeah, there, yeah. oh, that'd be nice. Like <laughs> Yeah, but what we do know, what we do see from the Bible, right, is that when we feel conviction on our heart about doing something that maybe this is wrong, right, or this is too far, that probably means it's too far for us, right? Because everybody's different, right? Yeah. Um, and also know that, like it says in 1 Corinthians like 6, 12, right? Everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial, right? And God does not want sexual immorality to happen in a relationship, right? So what is too far? What is not? Ultimately, we can set large, like, guides posts, right? Knowing that having sex before we're married is probably too far, right? That is definitely way too far, right? And um, knowing that some kissing, right, is good. Because like we said earlier, we don't want to just flip on that light switch, right? So being able to have that close touch, which is good, Right? But being able to dialogue with one another and being able to set boundaries and saying, this is where we're going to stop, right? And both of us will call each other out on it, right? And it's even better to set boundaries one step um, beyond be, before where you want to go, right? So if we don't want to take each other's clothes off, so let's leave boundaries at making out, right? Because as natural humans, we're always going to push the boundaries, Right. Yep. So let's put our, our fence post even closer to where we don't want to go. Right. Mm, that's really, really smart. Yeah. I think it's, you know, and we were talking about this when we were talking about your article, just that mindset of the purpose of sex, right. Mm -hmm. It's so important to know, mm -hmm. at least even as an individual before, you know, you set those boundaries so that, you know, like the purpose of sex is, you know, to enjoy that, that, marriage relationship, that intimacy mm -hmm. in marriage, you know? Um, and, you know, we were just talking about that around your article. Um, I think just having a really good understanding of what sex is and what the purpose is, and maybe even, you know, semi having that conversation with your boyfriend, you know, like, mm -hmm. you know, why is it important that we have boundaries to you, you know? Okay. Yeah. So good. Yeah. And it's a, it's a hard place to be in. I feel like that is a, is. a difficult place when you're like, borderline engaged but not yet so it's like can we have this conversation yet um should we should i just like set a boundary like it's yeah. it's very difficult i feel like when you're in that stage pre-engagement but seriously dating mm -hmm. yeah what is permissible what's not right yeah for sure and like you said you know the bible is clear on you know what are your convictions and you know what is it that makes you feel uncomfy and, you know, what is it that feels right and feels healthy? And yeah, I think that that is just so true. And, and everyone is so different and everyone has been raised differently and um, experienced different things. I think that's something to think about too. You know, like when I got in a relationship with my husband, like I had a pretty solid boundary list just from past relationships. Mm -hmm. I knew yeah. what, you know, my boundaries were. I knew what mm -hmm. I had struggled with before and yeah. I wanted to, to make it clear at the start. Yeah. I mean, I've heard some couples say that um, we didn't kiss, right? Because we'd already experienced that with other people and we didn't want to influence that um, with our relationship because we wanted it to be just about dating. Totally. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And everyone's so different. And I have friends who wait until their wedding day to kiss too. And, and that mm -hmm. was beautiful and it was perfect yeah, yeah. and what they wanted. And I love that. So yeah, good luck with that. And uh, thank you for answer, asking this question because I think it's just, it comes from such a good place of really yeah. wanting to, to serve God and, and serve each other in a mm -hmm. really, really kind and way. And I'm glad you're already thinking about this. Like this is a good right? thing to have. Yes, so good. So good, even before being engaged to already be kind of opening the door for that conversation. Mm -hmm.